And so we just experienced Rosh Chodesh Kislev on Friday. And, and we all know, since we're young children, that Hanukkah is one of the most well-known Jewish holidays. Not that it's the most major holiday, but it's one of those holidays that everyone celebrates. It's in the air. You go to the grocery store. Those of us who are lucky enough to live in a place like Eretz Yisrael, it's all over. It's on the buses. It's, I mean, literally in the streets. Unfortunately for us, who are not, and we're in Chutz Aretz, we, we don't see it as often. But we still go to the grocery store. And even in the secular areas, you see the Hanukkah gout, and we see candles, and we know Hanukkah's coming. And it's going to be, our homes are going to be filled with that light. So take this time, this Chodesh, this month, to fill our own selves with light. Think of the miracle of light. This is something that I want you to take a moment to think about. When we give to others, if I would come in this morning and give to you something, I'm giving each of you a gift, right? I come in with a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts, and I give them all out, and then I have none left for myself. But if I come in with my candle, and I give you all candles, and I take that light, the fire, and we pass it from each one of us, we're all left with the same amount of light. It is the only gift that we can give to someone, that it keeps giving, that it never runs out, that the, the light and the miracle of Hanukkah was that little, little light. So we have to light ourselves up because you realize as moms, as Jewish mothers, we wear so many hats, so many roles, and we must light ourselves up because we light up our home, our husbands, our family, our children, the people we come in contact with the people we don't know in the grocery store behind us, in front of us. We have the opportunity to share this light. And I heard this magnificent, beautiful little clip I want to share with you from this Holocaust survivor. And imagine a person who went through so much atrocities and so much challenge. Talk about choshech, right? Darkness, real darkness. And to be able to come and see the light and say how there's light everywhere and she spoke about a kerosene lamp. So now we think of a light. We turn on a light and we shut off a light. Maybe hard to understand. But think of a kerosene lamp. And you light the light and the wick, and it's beautiful. And you're surrounded by darkness, but you have this little light, and it illuminates everything. But what happens as the kerosene starts to burn? What happens to the bulb around the light, the wick? It starts getting black, the soot. The darkness, the challenges, the pain, the struggles. But what do we need to do? This wonderful, incredible woman, this Holocaust survivor teaches us. You take off the lamp and you clean it out. All you have to do is clean out the soot and the blackness. And you put it back on and then there's light again. And so we, the mashal for us, because we have the light. We have so much goodness Hashem gives us. We have to train ourselves to open our eyes and see it. But we're going to have that darkness. We're going to have the challenges. And we have to stop and take care of ourselves. We have to clean off that soot so we can once again illuminate not only ourselves, but everyone. We have the opportunity, especially in this month, Chodesh Kislev, to be able to share the light. 